We want to get you to a phone or that we have. Uh, we have Sergeant Stuart Smith on the phone from Troop County and the Sheriff's Office there. Uh, Sergeant Smith, what can you tell us about the damage and what y'all are seeing from the impacts of these storms? Well, the first thing I want to start out with is uh, it appears we're very fortunate. We don't have any major injuries, no fatalities right now. We're still, uh, this is still evolving as we get in these neighborhoods and look. We do have damage in the city of LaGrange and also the outskirts of Troop County. Uh, lots of roads that are closed uh, due to trees down. Our major thing that is impacting traffic now, Interstate 185 at mile marker 47 is going to be closed for the foreseeable future. We've got lots and lots of trees that are down. Um, so that particular interstate is shut down. 185 southbound at mile marker 47. Crews are out there, but it's going to take a lot of time. We've got a lot of power that's out. Um, we're serviced by Diverse Power, City of LaGrange and Georgia Power. They're working on that. But it's just a lot of uh, trees that are down all over the county at this point. Are y'all seeing any structural damage to businesses? And what are y'all seeing in the neighborhoods? Yes, there is structural damage in a lot of the areas in the city of LaGrange. There's some industrial areas that are seeing a lot of damage. Again, we're just assessing it right now. The big thing we're just trying to tell people, if you don't have to travel, don't get out and sightsee and get in the way of these first responders and electrical crews. And what are the first responders dealing with right now? And how are y'all responding to each mm -hmm. and one, every one of these calls that are coming in now from citizens as they're seeing what happened? Yeah. We're just doing these with priority. If there's no injuries, if it's just a case of a tree down, we're trying to get to those uh, safely to make sure there's no power lines involved. Because obviously when these trees come down, they're taking the power lines with them. And so we're just taking our time getting in there. We're trying to open the roads as quick as we can with our crews. Just the priority calls as we get them in. I know um, this kind of started to evolve in the early afternoon hours. Did y'all have any situations with students that were um, forced to remain where they were on school campuses? Do you have any information about that? You know, I'm not sure. Okay. I do know there were some delays in the school system dismissal. I know there were some that were already on the roads, and so okay. I'm not exactly sure what the situations were with the school system. All right, but again, no major injuries out there in Troop County. Y'all are dealing with a lot of structural and neighborhood damage. Those first responding crews out on the streets. And, and talk to me again, just to remind folks who are listening at home in that community about the road closure. You were talking about the one on um, 185 uh, that you want to make sure that yes. people uh, know about and stay away from. Correct. It, it's Interstate 185. That's the major connector between LaGrange and Columbus. It is Interstate 185 at mile marker 47. So it's basically the link or the loop you would take from 85 to get on 185. There's lots and lots of uh, trees. It looks like pine trees that are down in that area. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that folks got that information as well as the message from the Troop County Sheriff's Office to stay home if you are safe so that those first responding crews, those power crews can get out and do that necessary work. Sergeant Smith with the Troop County yes, Sheriff's Office, thank you so much for your time.